Welcome to my channel, I'm Lucia. Let's talk about how to say and how to respond to how are you in Chinese. This video is inspired by I saw a lot of people say don't say 你好吗 in Chinese. I know it sounds confusing because that is what the textbook taught us. 你好吗 is a real Chinese word, but it has slightly different meaning. Today we will go through as a native, what do we say? to say how are you or to greet others in three scenarios. Number two, what other scenarios we use 你好吗 in Chinese? Number three is how we respond to how are you in Chinese. Let's get started. First, let's talk about how to say 你好吗 in Chinese as a native speaker. Number one, when we meet a stranger, usually we can just say hi, hi, and more formally, we use 你好, which is hello. 你好, hello. When the other people is senior to you or they are a business partner, to show respect, you can use 您好 instead of 你好, 您好, 你好. And to make it more personally, we say 你好 plus name or 您好 plus name. For example, 你好, Bob, 您好, George. Number two, let's say a person you haven't been meeting for a while. You can ask, how have you been recently? How have you been recently? 你最近怎么样啊? 你最近怎么样啊? How have you been recently? 你最近怎么样啊? Or you can ask, what were you up to? What were you up to? 在忙什么呢? 在忙什么呢? That literally means, what were you busy with? 你在忙什么呢? 在忙什么呢? 你最近怎么样啊? 你最近在忙什么呢? Another scenario is uh, you haven't been meeting them for a while, but actually you are not so close to each other. That is a scenario you want to be polite, but at the meantime, you don't want them to feel like you are asking a question too seriously or go too far into their private life. And you can say, 最近挺好的吧? 最近挺好的吧? This has a very close meaning to how are you? That means you are doing pretty well, right? 最近挺好的吧? You are doing pretty well, right? So this is scenario number two. This is for someone we haven't been meeting for a while. If they are a close friend, we say, How have you been? 你最近怎么样啊? What were you up to? 你最近在忙什么呢? 你在忙什么呢? Or if it's an acquaintance, we can say, 最近挺好的吧? You are doing pretty well, right? 最近挺好的吧? The third scenario is for the people you met each other every day in a daily basis. For example, your neighbor or your classmate. For those people, we can also say hi or 你好. That's very simple, right? And for Chinese people, it's also very common to greet each other by what they are up to, what they are doing right now. For example, in the morning when you saw your neighbor leaving home, you can just greet them by saying 出去啊! That literally means going out, huh? Going out, right? I know it's not very common in other languages. And also they will respond to you about what they think you are going out to. This is for scenario number three, that the people you meet in a daily basis. Let's talk about our next topic, when we say 你好吗? 你好吗 has slightly different meaning to how are you. First of all, 你好吗 is a real Chinese word. And for foreigners, it's okay to say 你好吗? Most of us will not get very confused. We think it's very polite and very friendly also. But unfortunately, it is something that indicates that you are a foreigner instead of a native speaker. Generally, we use 你好吗 when it is a more serious situation or something goes wrong. You see someone looks sick or looks very upset, you can ask them 你好吗? 你还好吗? That actually has a meaning of what happened or are you okay? What happened? Are you okay? 你好吗? 你还好吗? Well, in some situations, 你好吗 can also indicate how are you, which generally appears in a letter or an email, and which is used more among older people than younger people. For example, when you write a letter to your friends far away, you can write long time no see, how are you? 好久不见, 你好吗? Long time no see, how are you? 好久不见, 你好吗? This is for how to use 你好吗? And now, let's move to the next part, how to respond to 你好吗? And also, we can do some review about how to say 你好吗? When we meet a stranger, we say, do you remember how we greet them? We say, hi, 你好. To a senior person, we say, 您好. To make it more personally, we say, 您好 or 你好 plus name. 
To respond to this, how are you? We say the same thing in the same pattern. You select one of these greetings according to your situation to respond to this, how are you? The second scenario is for the people you haven't been meeting with for a while. They say, 你最近怎么样啊? How have you been recently? 你在忙什么呢? What were you up to? And also for people you are not so close with each other, we will say, 最近挺好的吧? 最近挺好的吧? You are doing pretty well, right? You're doing pretty well, right? To respond to these, how are you? It depends on if you want to open this conversation or it's a good situation to open this conversation. The first, if you want to keep this conversation short, make sure you say something positively. For example, 挺好的, pretty good, 挺好的, pretty good, I'm pretty good, 我挺好的, 不错, not bad, 不错, not bad. And we also ask back, and you, 你呢? And you, 你呢? 我挺好的,你呢? 还不错,你呢? And if it's the right time to continue this conversation, to open up this conversation, talk about your own situation, what you're doing right now, and your feelings. And we also have the scenario number three, is that for the people we meet time to time, like your neighbor, your classmate. So when they greet you, they say something you are doing right now. For example, they see you on the street, they say, Oh, go to the supermarket, huh? 你去超市啊? 你去超市啊? First of all, uh, they are doing their best guess. Actually, you could. Uh, meanwhile, you don't necessarily correct them. And we respond in the same pattern about what they are doing right now. 你好,哎,去超市啊? 哎,对,你回家呀? Like this, that is the small conversation. But I know sometimes you don't have the vocabulary right in your head or <laughs> you just don't have a clue what they are up to. <laughs> you can just say hi to respond to this, how are you? Thanks and don't forget to subscribe. Let me see you soon. Bye.